Problem four is asking us to convert the given degrees into radians. So in order to do this, we're going to use the equation degrees times pi over 180 equals our radians. So we're going to take our negative 288 and multiply by pi over 180. What we need to do next is we need to simplify the 288 and the 180 uh, because we have this fraction 288 pi over 180 and we want it in simplest form. So one of the things that we can do is we can just start taking out individual um, factors like 2. I notice that 2 goes into both of those or we can use the GCD function on our calculator to find the greatest common denominator to do those more efficiently. So if we hit the math button arrow over to NUM for the number menu and arrow down to number 9 for GCD. It's going to put GCD with a set of parentheses on our home screen. Next we're going to type in 288 comma, the comma is above your 7, 180 and end our parentheses. When we hit enter it gives us 36 which tells us that the greatest common factor or greatest common denominator of 288 and 180 is 36. So I'm going to divide both of those numbers by 36. 288 divided by 36 gives me 8. I still have my pi. And 180 divided by 36 is 5. Don't forget your negative. We get negative 8 pi over 5. We're going to do the same thing for 120. We're going to start with 120. Multiply by pi over 180. And we need to find a GCD so that we can simplify our fraction 120 pi over 180. If we use our calculator function, we're going to end up um, typing in GCD. We're going to type in 120 comma 180 and it tells us our GCD is 60. So we're going to divide each of those by 60. 120 divided by 60 is 2 pi, 180 divided by 60 is 3, 2 pi over 3. We also could have just grabbed that off of our unit circle. The last one that we're going to do is 36. So we're going to do 36 times pi over 180. 36 pi over 180. As we saw in problem A, well 36 is actually a factor of 180 and of itself. So we can divide both of those by 36, so we get 1 pi over 5.